Got a mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages. Let's see what we got here. A one meter colorful food grade silicone tube beer milk soft rubber hose pipe. Three millimeters by five millimeters. Um, that sounds, I think that sounds right, but this is very small. How am I gonna cut this without? Oh, it's tiny. I thought this was going to be a uh, normal size. <laughs> oh well, it's pretty. It's pretty purple. But uh, I must have read this wrong or uh, I ordered the wrong size or they sent me the wrong one. Because this is uh, really small. I don't know what you would use that for. Oh well. Yep, silicone tubing. It's nice. It's just a useless size. <laughs> All right, next. Hot sale one piece internal main board, two ports. This is, uh, looks like a USB C. This looks like a USB 3.0 breakout, probably for motherboards. Um, is that one supposed to be blocked off? Yeah. I didn't realize this pin pitch was going to be so small though. I thought this would be good to uh, break out some cables for something I was looking at doing. Like if you wanted to make a little hub, you could just buy these and use them as modules onto a board, a modular USB hub or something like that. Uh, it also lets you break out a USB jack if you wanted to without having, you just, of course you'd need to unsolder this or use some kind of a, a connector for that. I didn't realize that was one millimeter, not 1.27. All right, A5, A6 transparent zip lock. Okay, I'm opening this stuff. I know this is, uh... oh nice, they sent them not folded. And individually packaged. Very cool. I'm gonna rip these instead of cutting it well. So these are business card size. These are business card size. I bought some more of these because they are really nice. And if you have something that you need to put in your books, your SMD books that do not fit in any of the other sizes, um, you could just use these on a, in a pinch. Um, they're also a lot cheaper than buying the, what is it, the, um, I'm trying to remember what size these are, 12 millimeters? The only ones available are these. Eight, I think these are eight millimeters. But you can buy these bigger ones, which are, I think are 12 or 15 millimeters for bigger components. But the only place I've found these is Adafruit. Um, so, you know, it gets to be pricey when you have a whole bunch of them. So I found that these are pretty good for just storing loose components when you get stuff that's not in a, 
um, you know, in a, in a strip or a tape or anything. So I got more of these. So you can see, you just throw them in a Ziploc bag and stick them in there. Works out pretty good. So. I bought a, bought a bunch, bought, uh, what, three? Three more. Put that over there. Hopefully it's not too shiny. All right, up next. Silent motor module vibration motor. I already bought one of these. I think this is the same thing. Oh, man, I cut this one too. How is it on that side of the package? God damn it. I just put them in there loose. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, so these are obviously some kind of refurbished... Um, I believe these are the Apple... I don't know if there's multiple manufacturers of these, but... I believe these are for iPhone linear haptic feedback vibration modules. So I bought two of them just in case, you know, one of them didn't work. I wanted to play around with them. Basically, um, instead of using a motor with a weight like some other vibrators do, this one actually uses a magnetic linear actuator that can go back and forth. And you can adjust, you can pulse it. I don't know, I think you pulse it to control how much um, vibration you can feel, um, how, how far it's going to travel. And it can, it can go boop, boop. I think it can bounce it off one side or the other side by controlling it. So I might need an H bridge or something for that. I'm not really sure how, that, how to drive that. It's just two pins, so I'm assuming you just uh, send up some kind of PWM duty cycle, or pulse, whichever direction you want to set it to. Or maybe it goes one way is hard, one way is soft. I, I haven't checked it out yet. Next, five pieces plastic card pry opening. Okay, I came across these on eBay, and I didn't know what they were because I was looking for business cards. I came across because for these holders, yeah, see, and uh, I found these things, and it turns out these are for like shimming or for prying stuff open. I thought they were really nice, and they're really thin, so these would be good for probably not for spreading; they're a little too soft. But these are good for like picking doors and stuff like that. And there is one, two, three, four, five, but they also seem to be good diffusers too. So uh, I'll see if this is uh, useful for anything. Maybe it'll be handy for something. Now let's try it out on, um, let's see what we got here. Um, do I have something like a plug up? Yeah, let's try this one right here. I don't know if I have anything programmed on this right now. Probably not. Let's try another one. I probably have some more down here. Let's see if this one's programmed. Yeah, it looks like it. Come on. Seems to just absorb a lot of the light. But it might be useful for something. I never didn't think about that. Edge light. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but it might be good for um, some kind of shimming when you're opening stuff up. Alright, next. Voltage regulator T 
10 pieces HT7333 3.5 SOT. I've been buying a bunch of different regulators. This is a um, this is basically the SOT 89 version. SOT 89? But that was the big one. SOT 189? These are basically the small versions of like a, um, let me check the footprints. SOT, yeah, 223, right? Yeah, so this is, a, this is a SOT 89. I think I have one in here. No, but I have one on this board right here. So I'm gonna take one of these out and check it out. So I don't know if the specs are the same. I didn't look at it. I just kind of I knew this was available, so I bought one. Um, this is oh, why I put those up. This is basically a a reg, you know, a one 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 seven regulator, like an AMS or reg one 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 seven. This is basically the SOT eighty nine version of that. So. I don't know if it's got the same current capability or not, but um, yeah, so you can see the size difference. So I thought I'd try some of these and see if they are useful. They're a little bigger than the small, tiny SO, uh, it was the SOT 23.5s or whatever they are. A little easier to work with than hand solder if you want to hand solder them. The key crying. Meow, meow, meow. What you got over there? <laughs> you got a toy. All right. Next, got two more. Uh, DC two nine seven nine. This is a vape cartridge. It's a C cell, well, supposedly a C cell, yeah, it's a C cell vape cartridge. These are supposed to be really good cartridges. And it's a push tip, not a screw tip. Maybe it goes on and doesn't come back off. Hmm. It's all crooked. That's not good. So C cell vape cartridge. I think these are the kinds that these aren't threaded. I think you snap them shut and they're almost impossible to open back up. Um, hmm. I guess they're a single use. So I want to check them out. These are supposed to use ceramic coils. So I thought maybe I'd get one and see if um, how they work. All right, next, air pump connection. This looks like a, a manifold. So I thought about um, if I'm gonna be using an air hose pickup system for SMD uh, work. Well, it doesn't really close very well on the end there, does it? I guess it is that um, I can maybe just have multiples of them with different tips so I don't have to change the tips. I can just grab which one I need 
And then this is basically a diverter that lets me control which one is on. That's just a thought. Because when you're when you're working with components, uh, and you have to switch up to something like this size from a 603 size, usually you need a different tip. It's not going to pick up right. And then I always have to find the rubber tips that go on them for the bigger packages. So if I could just have three three air tools hooked up that I can just grab at different tools on them, it's going to be a lot faster to assemble stuff. Um, normally you'd put all one size on and then you change it and do all the other ones. But if you're doing one board at a time or something like that, where you're baking small quantities at a time, it becomes a problem because you're constantly switching. So this would basically go on here. Let me see if it works. Where's my plug? So I'm probably gonna redo this whole thing and make a rework, redo it. That's kind of why I bought some of these hose for, but I thought it was going to be this size. <laughs> All right. So that's got a vacuum on it. So if I put that on the main line, these are all closed. I can't tell the difference. Oh, there we go. So that's closed. I hope it doesn't reduce the air too much. If it does, I'll have to get a better vacuum pump. But you can see, you can also control. You can also use it to tune in the suction. Well, it works. Well, then I'll have to deal with air leaks uh, at the tip and removing the tips and swapping the tips out. So, that seems to be sucking a lot better than it was last time. I bet um, maybe it was overheated. Hmm. Interesting. Last time I used it, it wasn't doing too good. Maybe, maybe it had a leak. I should have just pulled it apart and put it back together again. Put this guy away and put it in here. In my prototyping area. Put this guy back in a book. Let's see. I think I have a book with just, uh, just regulators in them. All my regulators are right. to label that. See they, they barely fit in these in these holders. So you have to go up a size. But I'm just gonna squeeze that in there for now. It should be fine. Meow. Oh, I should put these in there. I put these in my overflow. I have a. Oops. I have everything falling down apparently. So these are the bigger ones. You see, I got these buzzers. They take up a lot of space. You have to have a big. And some of them are a little too big for even this. So I'll probably put them in here instead. Like this guy right here is just way too. Way too big for that. USB connectors. So I still have some left. I've been kind of reserving. I'm going to throw these in here. What the hell? 
I want this punch out. Really? Here we go. Whew. I punch those all the way through. Some of these I got and they were folded in half and it really it annoyed the hell out of me. I'm glad they shipped these all flat so they weren't folded and all creases on them. Because you'll never get that crease out. It's kind of annoying that they... Didn't punch these out. I should put these in the back of the book, huh? The book's getting a little full. Maybe I can put these in here too. I how many will fit in one sleeve. All of them? Probably not. Probably half of them. So I made my own cards for spread and solder. Just blanks, blank PVC cards. So put that away. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'll have to check that listing and see if uh, oh, it picks up all this dirt too. Mm. It's kind of kind of what I like. I have to find this this stuff's again. This is silicone, but it's textured, so it's not as. T oh, how would I cut that? Look at that. Oh no, just scraped it. This is uh, textured, so it doesn't really stick and it doesn't grab dirt, but it is silicone. And it's very uncollapsible. So that's it for now. Till next time.